the lights are red and blue. Sergeant Randy Malin with Golden Valley Police says cases of officer impersonation are rare, but when getting pulled over, it can help to look at the lights. If it's an unmarked car and, you know, they think that it might be suspicious, uh, they want to look for, you know, the, the color of the lighting. Uh, state statute requires uh, law enforcement vehicles to have red and blue lights. Typically, Malin says the lights on a real police squad will be blue on the passenger side, red on the driver's side. But in the case in Becker County, the lights were blue and white. The Becker County Sheriff also says the woman who was stopped by an impersonator says he asked her to step out of the vehicle to look at a broken tail light. You know, I would be suspicious if an officer walks up to the car and immediately asks you to get out. That's that's pretty rare. So what should you do? Malin says ask to see an officer's ID. That's what the sheriff says the woman in Becker County did, and the man then drove off. And when in doubt, call 911. Put on your four-way flashers, and if you are suspicious at all, to call 911 and have a, a dispatcher you know, verify that there's an officer in the area that is attempting to make the a traffic stop. Jennifer Austin, CARE 11 News. And the officers we spoke with today said in most cases you should still pull over when being stopped, but if you're suspicious, keep your doors locked and stay on the phone with 911.